morning, YouTube. What's up? I'm here today because uh, there's there's no rest for the people going after their dreams. It, it's, it is going to be 14 hour days, 16 hour days. Let's try to do something. What am I going to do to save my house? I have approximately 11 months to save my home. Um, so I have to take over the payments in 11 months. Okay. What am I going to do? Well, I tell you what I'm going to try to do is hopefully with your help, give me some opinions, some tips and tricks on how to, how to, how to get some more sales uh, going. We need to do this as a team, man. All of us need to do this together. Um, another thing is, uh, I have to keep coming out with products, have to keep coming out with products. Um, today I have some post processing. We're going to go through a little bit today. I have to get my, uh, button gear. Um, and it's eight o'clock in the morning. So I have to really move it today. I have to move it, move it, okay? Um, I have to start generating more sales. My sales are going down. My light process is going up as far as my inventory. So as soon as I start catching up with my inventory, I will finally start to be able to track and take care of my profits and see where I'm at. Instead of trying to do everything on demand and just flying by the seat of my pants. It's just, it's really sucky. So uh, moving forward, I'm going to make my omelet here. Um, I'm going to, uh, we're going to go through some post processing and we're going to hopefully get a new product out that I've already designed and already, I've, I've thought of something that I've been talking about and we'll go right after this. Uh, uh, have a good morning. <laughs> Okay, what's going on YouTube? So right now what I'm up to is I have a uh, statue of David um, that I cut up and I was going to sell it as a bust and I was going to paint it up and I painted it up and uh, I didn't get many sales with it and I, I changed a lot of aspects of it just recently in Mesh Mixer. I don't want to go through all that with everybody. But uh, we will go through uh, the upgrading process here in a minute. But first off, I wanted to start to print um with just so i can uh list this print and i still haven't listed my tiger properly yet uh, but anyway i have to list i'm gonna get the statue of david going with asa so it'll be uv protecting outside uh, uh, uh weather climate condition piece um and i can't wait to sell i can't wait to see how it comes out i hopefully it'll stick to the bed and uh with anyway so let's see what i got here so yeah i have it scaled up uh, as big as it can go uh, 244 millimeters, which is nine and a half inches or nine inches and five eighths, uh, roughly. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see how much this guy's going to cost me. So it's going to take seven hours to print this guy. It's going to cost me four to five dollars in filament. Now, um, I have reviewed these supports and these are all supports I have selected. Uh, the biggest change I've done was stay away one millimeter. You can see that my supports are staying away quite a bit. I do not want to deal with that at all. Um, having those laying on top uh, and causing any kind of issue. Uh, but anyway, um, let's go ahead and let's send this out to the machine. And uh, we'll get some B-roll on that. Uh, and uh, hopefully that'll uh, get listed tomorrow maybe. All right, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so these are just brought in fresh out of the print farm and what I do is I just spray each individual one down with some alcohol and spray. Fifth and final piece. Next up is painting. Thank you. I had to stop the print. You can see it lifting off the bed right there. Um, it's still stuck on the bed. Pretty good. Yeah, very good. But uh, it started lifting off, and I just can't have that. So I'm going to start to print over again. Got 
got done with all my painting for today and my post processing uh, that I'm going to do for today. And now I'm going to go into uh, another one of my projects, which is what you saw earlier um, a David statue, a David bust statue. And I'm going to make that into a pencil holder. So let's see how we do that. So, first, I'm going to bring my project into Mastercam. And then I'm going to extend the um, the base so I can hold up pens. So let's see how I do it. So there you have it for today. Um, tomorrow we'll see how that looks. There's the design, the pen holder, the, the David statue that I carved out, the original statue in the bust, and the, and the base that I found. And let's see what we come up with. Have a great day. Happy 3D printing to everybody.